To me, it means that I've had a lot of people, good people, support me along the way, and I've probably reflected on that a little bit this week more so than you know me making or achieving 300 games. I've looked at it more as um, all those people that helped me and thinking back to the 2000 draft where I was picked up and started pre-season in November 2000 and who were the initial people that helped me and, and who were the players that I looked up to um, back then. So I've, I've sort of reflected on reaching this milestone in that regard as opposed to trying, trying to compare you know, who else has played 300 games. Watching you know, senior guys like when I got to the North, John Blakey, Arch, Adam Simpson, um, and then Brent Harvey, who I lived with for a couple of years, he taught me the ropes and how to prepare properly and professionally as a footballer, and um, there's been many, many more that um, I've probably forgotten to mention, but those are the ones that, that I see uh, as having a massive influence over my career and teaching me what I know and, and enabling me to play for as long as I have. You don't realise, I guess, how much you want something until it's nearly, not that it's nearly out of reach, but that sort of I'm coming to the end of my career and, and haven't achieved that success. So, yeah, I'd, I'd give up all 299 games just to make one a grand final and a, and a premiership. You've never heard of a sort of club having a reunion just because, but there's always premiership reunion. So that's the dream, that's the goal, that's what drives me. Brent Harvey, all, all of us at the footy club at the moment. I think it's important for, for Brent, Harvey, um, Michael Perito, um, Daniel Wells, Freddie Thompson, um, myself and others to make sure that yeah, in 10 years' time the, the blokes, I guess, still talk about it for us in how we were, we were able to teach and shape that new crop of play coming through. <laughs> Exciting week, and it's uh, looking forward to a few of the special moments like taking the kids out through the banner. But um, once that firing goes, it's just another game. And the noise is starting to build. What a champion! I think uh, Hamish, the modern, the modern tradition of taking the kids out. It is just a fantastic memory for those uh, those little ones. Uh, I'm sure to be on the DVD to be played many times down the track. So a kiss from wife Nicole and then Jack, Abby, and Ruby just heading out. I'm not sure whether or not that's Abby or Ruby, but finally a high five for 300 games. It's a great sight, isn't it? One of the great shin boners. Drew Petrie now fifth on the games played list for North Melbourne. Seventh in goals. Three goals today and he goes to outright sixth for North Melbourne. And away we go on a Sunday afternoon, Mother's Day. Drew Petrie's day in revolt with the first clean possession. Handball out to McMillan. He's close to the line, running out of room. Did really well to keep it alive. And Brown, I'm not sure that this has been touched. How perfect is that? Game 300. Drew Petrie. Now the skipper for the Kangaroos. A driving ball. Petrie. Again, it's just he doesn't want Petrie to reach because he'll outreach him. So I think that has to be a free kick. He just didn't get access to the mark at all, Petrie. The 300 game has got a couple. Back to 13 points. North Melbourne are going to win their first seven games for the first time since 1979. 37 years ago was the last time they did it, and they remain undefeated on top of the ladder, and they ice it with a goal. You've got it closer than what you wanted, but got the points. Yeah, well, we knew it was going to be tight. St Kilda have been going well this year, despite what their ladder position might suggest. So, uh, they were fantastic all day. And, I don't know, mixed emotions. It's good to win, but, gee, gee we're lucky. I know you're a team man, and you probably didn't like all the attention this week, but it must be yeah. good to be a little bit of focus on you and appreciation for what you've been able to do. Yeah, Max, it was good. I made sure I embraced it. I didn't want to shut everything away and look back on it in five years and regret sort of trying to shy away from it. So the, the people who have helped me throughout my career, too many to mention, but I think it's about them. Uh, I've had a lot of good people show me the way and uh, a testament to those people. And uh, Brent Harvey's going to be one of the, one of the carriers. Fantastic. Great memory. Just a 70.
but his fourth player to get to 300 games. Remarkable. I'm really proud. Uh, obviously, we, we talk about Drew as a person first, as I did in the rooms before the game, and talk about him um, as a footballer second. And um, look, I, I, I don't know. People can judge him however they like as a footballer, but um, he, he's a he's a great person. He's uh, loyal and honest and dedicated, and he's determined. He's disciplined. He's selfless as a, as a person, and, and he portrays it on the footy field. Do you reckon the 300 club will get together a bit later on to celebrate Drew's uh, 300th? Uh, yeah, I hope so. We'll probably leave it until the end of the year because they, they're a bit soft these days. They can't have a beer. And I like to celebrate with a beer, so <laughs> we might wait till the end of the season and do that. He's, he's wrapped for the boys. He wanted, I mean, he just wanted to win today. That's, that's what he wanted to do. The, the, the 300th, once he ran on the ground, was irrelevant to him. Um, he just wanted to win, and thankfully they won. Had me on the edge of my seat towards the end, but um, made it a bit more exciting. But uh, yeah, no, it was great. Great for Drew, great for the club. So good day all round. Look, there's nothing he'd like more than to uh, obviously give this footy club an opportunity to play in the Premiership. That, that's his aim. He's thankful for what North have given him. Um, we're thankful, and uh, he's always a shin boner.